Okay, so if you're using Google Sheets and you want to put an image into the spreadsheet, there's several different ways to do it now, and we're going to go over each one of those. Um, the first one that we're going to go over is just inserting the image on top of your spreadsheet so it doesn't live in a particular cell. The second one that we'll go over is putting it inside of a cell. And then the third way to do it is to do it with a function, and that's going to give you some flexibility to use them in some dynamic ways. So we'll go over to sheet two. We're gonna start from scratch. The first way to insert an image is just to go to the insert menu and go to image. And the first one we're gonna do is insert image over cells. You can take a snapshot. You can put in a specific address from the web as to where the picture is. You can look at your albums. What we're going to do is just look in my Google Drive. I already have some pictures ready. And the one that we're going to use to put it over kind of looks like a banner. So I thought it was a good example. And it puts it in here full size at first. So the way to work with this is to click on it and then you'll get the blue rectangles in the corners and on the sides. If I grab one of these blue rectangles and I drag it down, it's going to resize the image. And as you can see, this image, when I select it, is over a lot of cells, but it's not associated with any particular one of them. So you can't do anything like reference this picture in A1 and make it delete if something happens. But there are some ways that you can work with it. If you left click on these three dots, you'll get this menu. You can replace it from here. You can delete it, or you could just press the delete key. You can assign a script to it. That's beyond the scope of this video, but you, you could do some dynamic things with it that way. If you reset the size, it'll make it the original size again. And you could put some alt text in here, which would be alternative text for someone that's looking at this spreadsheet with a screen reader. Say maybe if they have a vision problem, you could describe this. You won't see that unless you're using a screen reader, so that's kind of behind the scenes. And then the last option is to put it into a cell. Well, we don't want to do with that with this one, so you just click outside of it, and that's good. Let's leave that right there. In this weather calculator that we're going to build, we want some icons. We're going to use the sun that represents hot and the sun and the snowflake that represents eh, mild, not hot, not cold, right? These icons are available for public use, so I've put the attribution in the description of the video so you can grab them and use them if you want. Uh, but they're in my Google Drive right now, so I'm going to insert image, and this time I'm going to select in cell. We'll go back to my Google Drive, we'll go to recent, and let's get the sun for it being hot. Takes a minute to find it. And we'll go down a cell. And we'll insert the sun slash snowflake for kind of hot, kind of cold. Now this is an easy way to get images in the cell. Okay, and if that's all that you wanted to do, that's fine, you're done. But there is something interesting going on here. So I've selected this cell, which is B9. But if I look up in the formula box, there's nothing here. So if you reference a cell and try to do something with it, it's not really something that you can reference and move around. So if you are looking to have dynamic pictures, then this third option is probably the right one for you. If you just want to put an image in, then at this point, I think you're done. But let's do one more thing here. So there is a function called the image function. So if I hit the equal sign and I type image, I'll get some helper text here. And it reminds me that this is to insert an image into a cell. If I start it with the parentheses, the first thing that it wants is the URL of the image. So if you're using this function and the picture is just saved on your hard drive or camera somewhere, it's not going to be able to find it. This function wants a public web address. So I took some pictures and I uploaded them to my website. We're going to grab that URL and I'm just going to hit escape and go over to this other worksheet where I've already done this and we're going to talk about what's happening. Okay, so this is my... Um, ultra dynamic and complex weather calculator that I have built that you can build too because I'm going to give you these formulas. They'll be down in the description as well. 
What this icon looks like is being driven by the temperature outside. So if it's 50 degrees on Monday, it's cold. You get that icon, but if it was 60 degrees or let's say a 70, you get the warmer icon. So if I go into cell L33, let's look at this formula, break it down a little bit. Here we go. If I put my cursor in it, it's going to tell you what's happening. So we have an if statement here. So it's saying if cell K33 is less than or equal to 55, give it that hot cold icon. If it's greater than 55, give it the sunny icon. So these are just image functions within an if statement. So click enter, that's what's happening here. And there's a little bit more to the image function that we can explore right now. And for that, I'm going to bring up another spreadsheet. Okay, so here's an image again that I'm bringing up using the image function. And this is the same image every time, but I'm using some different attributes that you can plug into the image function. So the first one is just normal. Use the image function, and this is the URL of the image. It brings it up. It scales it to fit into the cell. If I double click here, you can see that happening as well. The image function could use this uh, mode argument, but since it's in brackets, it's telling you, you can just leave it blank and we won't do anything. If you make it a one, it's going to be the same thing, which is the default, which is scale to fit. But if you want your image to fill the cell, then you can designate a two as the mode. Look at this. There's a two as the last argument. You can put it in at the original size. If you do this, you'll probably have to expand the height of the row that you put in because this particular picture happens to be taller than a row. There could be some situations where you'd want to use that option. I think if you're going to be fitting it into a cell, it doesn't really make sense, but it's there. And then the next option, which is number four, allows you to designate the dimensions of it. So if you use a four, then you have to designate the height and the width. You could also use these as part of your dynamic task list. This next video is how to build a task list. You could put in images of check marks or red X's if it's not done and play around with it and have some fun. Thanks for watching.